All right, so the plan for this video, shit, that's shaky. Let's restart. All right, so holy shit. I'm just gonna hold it with my left hand. My right hand. All right, so the plan for this video is to do a shot by shot of either the front or back nine or at Shandon, which is the course that I'm a member at. But my plans haven't really been going to plan <laughs> recently, so I might end up jumping around holes because we like to not be waiting around for like 10 minutes for dudes to dawdle down the fairway so I still want to do a shot by shot the plan is to do either front nine or back nine of Shandon but it might just be a random scramble of holes but I still want to get nine to maybe 12 holes filmed and I'll just chuck each shot on I won't be able to do shot traces because I still don't have my PC to edit on yet so yeah you'll just have to not see the ball or might see the ball and just see where my next shot is based on the clip that comes next and I'll try to figure out some way of doing a scorecard but if not I might just chuck on just at the end, like on the putt or something, at the end of the hole, just be like two over through three or what, whatever I am and stuff like that. And then hopefully I want to be able to do this kind of video more often. It is coming towards the end of daylight saving, which means it's going to be dark by the time I finish work soon. So I'm not going to be able to do it as much. I can still do weekends, but I think, yeah, as we come into winter here, I might do more range and the occasional course video and just practice stuff and more gym and maybe some car content. But then as we come back into summer towards the end of the year, obviously I'll be better at filming and editing and all that kind of stuff. There'll probably be, oh, that's actually so far away. But I do want to start doing more of like shot by shot videos uh, just to help show progression as well. So let's cue the, not cue, let's just jump into the course. Jump onto the course. Let's go.
So the wind picks up here, so you can't actually hear what I'm saying, but I'm basically just explaining about there being a group of, like, two groups of really slow people in front of us. So we're, we finished hole one and two, but we're going to jump on to hole the back nine and play 10 to 16, just so you don't get confused with the score at the top. Pretty big drive here. I think this hole's about 340, 350, so probably oh I don't actually know, but it's at least a 300 meter drive. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to work on my chipping is because I drive it so far and leave myself chips. So wow, well, two two solid chips today so far. probably 50 meters I'm not sure what that is in yards bit of a lapse of concentration on that last hole I think double bogey so hopefully we can get it back on this hole although it is a tough hole so see what we can do Far, I think. Yeah, four shots there. Okay. Oh, the wind's a bit strong. Another par four. Probably, I think the same distance. Pretty similar hole. This one's a little jog length. Kind of a blind shot here, but I guess that's what you get when you pull it off the tee. So, let's see what we can do. Faded a bit much. And I left it short. The, the downside to not having any kind of range finder, I'm just doing it by guesstimates. Another 
Ah. Okay. Yeah. Once again, not sure of the distance. That's part three. I've got an eight iron. It is into the wind. Um, definitely looks all the one ball. Hopefully, hopefully it's the right distance. I think it's only green. Bit high. The goal here is it is downhill. I don't want it to run away from me. So I'm just going to try and lag it up as close as I can. Hopefully so I can get the speed right. So we got a 400-ish meter path by here. I was hoping, yeah, I was just looking. Um, the winds died down, which is unfortunate because I was, it was definitely going to be a gettable potential eagle. But hopefully, we can come out with a birdie if we hit it right. Oh no! Reset. I'm just going to hit another one just because I want to see what I would have hit if I had reset and taken my foot out of that hole. Alright, well, after saying that, I had a pretty bad off the toe tee shot. I'll play two balls, but I'm still going to count this towards my proper score. I'm just currently waiting for these guys to go for a nice walk to get out of the way so I can go for the green. I think I've got the right club. Uh, I might be a bit short, but I'll still try and get it up and down. Ah. Well, that was terrible. This is ball number two for this hole. Once again, I think I might have the wrong club. So we're just going to just smash it. Okay, putt for birdie here. First ball. Um, Definitely could have had an eagle chance still if I had hit that second shot properly, but it is what it is. Oh, that came off the toe a bit. What a bad leg putt.
we'll take bogey for this first ball. And then see if we can harvest it with the birdie with the second one. I think that's dead straight. Ah, uh, bogey with two balls. Alright, last hole here. This is actually one of my favourite holes. It's, uh, oh, it's into the wind, so it probably isn't drivable today, but it's usually drivable for me. Um, I'll try and hopefully finish with the birdie, which would be three birdies in one round, which is, or one nine hole, which is pretty good for me actually. I play pretty well. Um, a few dumb mistakes, but we're getting better. Let's go. Stop thinking about people coming towards us. Once again, mental relapse. Got people behind me, so I'll try to go fast. So we'll cut down into the fairway. Oh. Wouldn't go to plan. Hopefully, he can come out with a bogey. I'm not using like the best ball, so I didn't get as much spin on it. Which left me a putt that I still kind of rushed because this guy's still waiting. So I can't believe me, but I missed the putt still, so I'll count it up when I'm editing. But I think that was what, like four or five over? Which I guess is pretty much to my handicap playing off the blue tees here. So hope you enjoyed. I think this is the end of the video. Um, I'll definitely get better at these kind of videos and I think hopefully next summer I'll start doing full way teams and maybe have some playing partners and be able to edit it properly with traces which would be nice so see you in the next one.